Hello and welcome to The Matrixer, starring Jonathan and Shiva. Our topic today, as many of you have requested, is, what is the difference between a lucid dream and astral projection? We're going to tell you about that today. There are many people who, at least those who practice lucid dreaming, always claim, yes, everything is just lucid dreaming. Even out-of-body experience is just lucid dreaming. These are the lucid dreamers who often say so. And personally I don't see it that way. How about you? No, me neither. So there is a difference between lucid dreaming and out-of-body experiences. Astral travel. This is also a completely different body feeling and feeling of consciousness. It is a completely different body feeling what you have there. Also, the lucid dream does not begin in your own bedroom. And the perception is also different. Yes, the perception is different. In a lucid dream, you tend to have a crystal clear picture. Yes, a very clear picture. Yes, in any case, and you are always so integrated into the actions. Other people can perceive you. You converse with them. You have sex with them or go to a party or talk to them. Discuss with them. In out-of-body experiences you are more of the observer. Exactly. And looks at everything from a distance. Also, only 14 minus 25% of people have astral projection, while as many as 50 to 70% of people lose and the lucid dream can be programmed. You can't do that without a body experience. Yes, exactly. So you realize that dreaming is much more common than out-of-body experiences. Then they come up less often. Every seventh maybe, and almost everyone has experienced lucid dreaming at some point. And albeit by accident, let me tell you, that you wake up in the morning and think, hey, I've got a really crazy dream. I was totally clear. And I knew I was dreaming. So it was at least for me. When I think I had my first lucid dream, I think it was around 15 or 16 years old. That's when I woke up for the first time in the morning because I had become conscious in the dream and everything became crystal clear. And I was so blown away by this experience that I thought it was incredible. It was like everyday life and at the time I didn't really know about the phenomenon of lucid dreaming. So it was actually a spontaneous, lucid dream experience. Exactly. When did you have your first lucid dream? Can you remember? No. But I know what I did in my first lucid dream. That's what I said. Now if this is a lucid dream, then I want to see a towering gorilla. I was disappointed that there wasn't one. Then I walked around the corner of the house and then there was a high-rise building and a gorilla that was so high the high-rise building. And after that I wanted ice cream. Just it. So. That's what you say. In the lucid dream you can create the skyscraper and the gorilla. Exactly. If you expect there to be a gorilla, there is a gorilla because you programmed it. This is not the case with out-of-body experiences. In an out-of-body experience, you can stretch out your hand and say I want to hold an orange in my hand, and it won't appear. Yes, exactly. That only happens in lucid dreams. Exactly. Then all the effects that you have with an out-of-body experience. All those sounds, those vibrations and things like that. You don't have that in a lucid dream either. And the lucid dream doesn't start in the bedroom either. But suddenly you are somewhere in a strange city or with some people. Or other elements that appear all of a sudden. Exactly. What other differences are there? I can read you a few facts. Yes, that's great, yes. Exactly. Some have already mentioned. Namely, that 50 to 70% of the population have dreamed lucidly, but only 14 to 25% had an out-of-body experience. That you can program lucid dreams and experience out-of-body experiences more as a passive observer. Correct. In the out-of-body experiences you are more of a passive observer and in the lucid dream you are always right in the middle of the action. Exactly. In a lucid dream, 
Does one have an integrated body image while the astral traveler feels more separate from the body? Yes, exactly. I think Robert Peterson also made a distinction in his book between lucid dreaming and out-of-body experiences. He also differentiated it very strongly. And personally, I always like to differentiate and always say out-of-body experiences or out-of-body experiences are level 2 of lucid dreams, so to speak. Because lucid dreaming is easier to achieve than out-of-body experience. Exactly. By the way, during an out-of-body experience you can of course also see your physical body lying in bed, but not during a lucid dream, rather not like that. Exactly. The lucid dreamers often have a mystical and vivid consciousness, while the astral travelers have a more normal consciousness. Exactly. The lucid dreamers see their dream as a product of the mind, while the astral travelers then just have a more objective perception of reality. Yes, you feel much more objective there, as an observer, in an out-of-body experience or when out-of-body experience. Yes, you are not even noticed by others. So you can visit your parents, maybe at their parents' house, and they walk past you and don't notice you. If you were in a lucid dream, they would immediately speak to you and look at you. Also in the brain waves. Tests have also been done with lucid dreamers and out-of-body experience. Then EEG tests were also done and it was found that lucid dreamers have typical waves in an EEG that indicate dreaming. And in an out-of-body experience, these dream waves were, let's say, just not registered. Likewise, the REM, i.e., the rapid eye movements, were registered in the lucid dreamers, but not in the out-of-body experience. Also in terms of empathizing with this experience. That means when you wake up in the morning and had a lucid dream, you immediately remember walking around in that lucid dream, what you experienced there. You also feel a little energized. You feel refreshed. But in an out-of-body experience, it's much stronger. When you come out of an out-of-body experience, you feel really energized. And yes, it also builds up in a positive way, I would say. The perception in the astral body is also much closer to everyday perception. The personality also compares very closely to the personality in an out-of-body experience. So the consciousness itself or the personality does not change. In a lucid dream it can happen that you change and then you are suddenly totally overwhelmed. Or maybe you have some strong feelings or feel like someone very different. And a lucid dreamer will of course also say that he has just dreamed or that his lucid dream was a dream, while in the case of out-of-body experience you will of course say no, that wasn't a dream, that was an experience I just had. Unless you're not super conscious and super clear, then you can mix and match. But as a rule you can clearly see, oh yes, I was on the road. No, that was a dream. Correct. And what I also noticed, at least for me, in lucid dreams you are more sexually stimulated than in an out-of-body experience. So more like a lucid dream. The first thing that comes to mind is sex. During an out-of-body experience, I think more about what can I achieve? What can I change? On which planet can I or how can I evolve? And not in a lucid dream. Not like that. In a lucid dream, it can happen that the sex overwhelms you or makes you so happy. And then you really want to have a candlelight dinner with someone or play games or you rush up to them and eat them. Exactly. You're a bit more uncontrolled there. Yes, I agree. So it's harder to control. Of course you can learn. And when I'm on an out-of-body experience, I don't want to have anything to do with sex. So, then I want to experience something, and then I want to experience. Yes, you two only very few times and then even more experimentally. You just want to experience something, have adventures and the like. In a lucid dream you are more likely to be a victim of your own instincts. Sometimes. And exactly. 
would we come up with even more differences? But I don't think so spontaneously, but I think that was already a whole list of differences. Yes, you can perhaps write in the comments whether you have noticed differences between lucid dreams, out-of-body experience or how that affected you in perception or on your feelings and emotions. Then you can take a look for yourself and leave a comment. Exactly. And then that was it for today. And again support us, give us a like and subscribe to us. All the best. Until next time. Take care. Bye.